When a patient gets a lung nodule, the biggest concern is that, is the nodule cancerous? Many of these lung nodules turn out to be nothing, but you can't ignore them. You can't sit on them, you can't wait. For those that have lung nodules that end up being a cancer, we need to move fairly quickly. Fox Chase Cancer Center has a comprehensive lung nodule program where results can be fast-tracked to meet specialists who diagnose and specialists who treat lung nodules. When a patient comes in with a lung nodule, they can be seen by a number of different people. They could be seen first by a thoracic surgeon, they could be seen by a pulmonologist, and they could be seen by one of our nurse practitioners. They could have a repeat CAT scan in a short order to see if the nodule was changing in size or shape. They could have a PET scan to see if it's metabolically active, or if it's suspicious enough, we'll proceed straight to a biopsy so that we don't delay their diagnosis. You have a couple of options in terms of how you would approach them to do a biopsy. One way is to do a bronchoscopy, which involves going down your airways with a small flexible scope and trying to biopsy a nodule from within. The other option is for a radiologist to do a needle biopsy from outside the lung. These traditional methods, though, may not be able to reach nodules if they're further out in the branches of the lung. That's why our pulmonologists have this advanced technology to get to these hard-to-reach nodules. So here at Fox Chase, we're one of the first centers in the nation to have the Monarch Robotic Bronchoscopy Platform. This allows us to get uh, out into the periphery of the lung uh, with increased dexterity, increased visualization, to get a more targeted biopsy specimen. What it means to me is the next evolution in how we approach these lung nodules. You're taking a very small, very sophisticated robotic arm and you're navigating through the airways with direct visualization. We've done hundreds of these cases over the past couple of years, and doing it in a high volume center with a team that has been drilled on these procedures, that's where that consistency comes from, and that's where we get great success. Instead of you having to hold a scope with your hand, you're now using a remote controller to drive a scope down a patient's airways. The first part of how the system works starts with a very simple CAT scan. We can take those images and we can sync them to the robotic platform. So now we've got a roadmap. Now we've got basically a turn-by-turn -turn GPS for the lung. So just with one procedure, you're much more likely to get an accurate answer in the first time. We can reach nodules that we have not been able to reach before, far more deep out in the lung, as close as to the edge of the lung now. In order to decide the best course of treatment, the team needs a tissue sample large enough to determine the cancer's genetic makeup. Being able to directly see the nodule gives our physicians the assurance that they're collecting a large enough targeted sample for testing. We'll be able to make these cases shorter, and make them faster, less anesthesia time for the patient, less recovery time. We find the nodule, we biopsy it, we look at all of the lymph nodes throughout both lungs so the person has a diagnosis and a stage for their cancer, and then they can meet quickly thereafter to decide what to do next. Having this technology is so important for these lung patients, but it's the strong Fox Chase Interventional Pulmonology team as well that makes all the difference. It's our nurses, our respiratory techs, our bronc techs who are helping with all these instruments and all. That team effort is why we have great success at Fox Chase. The landscape of interventional pulmonology is changing every day. And these technologies, they build on previous generations so that we're able to offer our patients and cutting edge modalities. When I think about Fox Chase, I think about the years of experience in the departments around me. I think about the reproducibility of our biopsy procedures, the level of training of our cytologists, respiratory therapists, endoscopy nurses, and that gives us great insight. We use the experience of all of our peers to provide the best recommendation and the best treatment plan for patients.